Hi everybody, it's Deb from D&D Art Gallery. Hope you're all doing well today. Today I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas. I'm going to do a sandwich pour on it and I'm going to use the mix. The first time that I've done a sandwich pour with the mix, you can see I'm going to fill three cups and let's go over my paints. Uh, my base coat today is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, and then I just added a little dab of Blickrylic Primary Yellow. And so my base coat is going to be this very, very light yellow. Okay, my next color is Montmartre Yellow Mid. My next color is the Montmartre Vermilion. My next color is King Art Red Ochre. My next color is King Art Viridian. My next color is Amsterdam Payne's Gray. And my last color is a combination of three different paints. First of all, it's um, <clears throat> handmade modern 20k gold and then Liquitex Basics Deep Violet and then Artist Loft Phalo Blue and I will show you that color I think it's a very pretty color and I can show you consistency right away here's that color if you look closely you can see just the gold shimmer in there and it just leaves a trace pouring medium today is the mix seven part mix to one part paint i did thin my paints with about three drops of water no silicone used today and nothing else that that's what i used oh and also the artist loft flow acrylic white because when you do a sandwich pour you do sandwich white in between some of the colors so what I'm going to do is uh, turn off the camera, get my base coat down, fill my cups, and then I will bring you back and we will start painting. Be right back. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I put down my base coat of the light yellow, filled my three cups. Let me show you one of the cups. I filled it all the way across each color and then in between two colors I would put a layer of the white. Two of my cups I layered from light on the bottom to dark on the top as you can see and then my middle cup I did the opposite. I started with dark on the bottom and I went to light on the top. My middle cup got a little bit fuller for some reason but I'm going to do flip cups on this. So let's hope they turn out okay. There's the first one. This one is a little full. Second. And third. Okay. Again, this is called a sandwich pour. I'm just gonna let those sit there just a minute. And then I am going to drag the paint down and then we'll do some tipping on it. See how the mix reacts to having the paints mixed up this much. Okay. Let's flip our first cup here. And I am just going to move it around a little bit. And I may even drag it. Just drag the lip of the cup through the paint. Let that cup sit right there for a minute. Okay, let's do the second cup. And again, I'm going to lip it.
And my third cup. Again, I will lip it. So you can actually really see the difference how you layer your cup, the difference that it makes. I'm actually getting cells here, which is unusual. Okay, now I think I'm going to torch. And I think I am just going to lip it just a little bit more. I have my little popsicle stick here. This one not too much, maybe just a little bit more here. And this one over here. Just cleaning it off with my gloved hand here between each stripe I put in there. Okay, and there's a lot of paint on this canvas so I can I probably end up tipping quite a bit off. And I will bring that back to the middle. And I will get this corner. And bring that back. Okay, I will try and keep you in camera as I do the tipping here. We're going to try and tip down to this corner here. And I will bring that back. And I'm just gonna see what I have here. It looks like a, just an air bubble there. Just an air bubble causing that problem. Tip a little bit of that off. I'm going to go back to this corner since I dripped on it. I'm going to take a little more off there. Okay. And now bring it back. Kind of more bringing it to the middle. And I will take some off of this far, cor far corner here. And I'm going to bring that back. Just going to take a look at it now. A lot of really nice things going on here. Very vibrant colors. Okay, the only thing I'm really not crazy about is this in here. I'm going to pull a little more of that off. 
it's not as bright as the balance of the painting. I'll try and take some off this far corner over here. I still have plenty of paint on this canvas. And now I will bring that back. I'm going to take a look at it again. The more I stretch this area out here, it's really, really pretty. And I do love the colors down in here. And in here, this is really nice. Again, I just think I'm going to stretch a little bit more down this way. Take a little more off that far corner. And bring it back. Just going to bring it down a little bit. Maybe straighten it out just a little bit more. And I'm going to take another look at it here. When you use the mix, the more you stretch it out, you get these layers. Now I can see uh, colors underneath um, the top layer. And since I put my finger right there, I'm just going to do a little bit more tipping there. Okay, I do want to keep these cells here. And I really love this corner. That's beautiful there. Okay, I'm just going to take another look at it here. I'm going to just uh, fix up my corners here. And I will clean off the bottom. Okay, still just looking at the composition of this. I'm going to torch it. See if anything else comes up. Okay, I'm just going to see if I can straighten this middle part out just a little bit without losing much at the bottom there. Okay. 
Okay. Composition wise, I think this painting would go this way. Just checking my corners again here. Cleaning off the bottom. Okay, I'm just going to give it one more torch and then I will get you down for a close up and I will show you the areas that I think are just, just beautiful. I'm very happy with this mix and I'm very surprised that I did get some cells. Being that the only thing mixed with the paint is the mix and some water. Let's get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, let's bring you down for a close-up now. Again, this is a 16 by 20 inch canvas. And I did a sandwich pour with white. And this is the upper left-hand corner. I did use the mix today into my paints with a little bit of water and that's all I used as you can see now we're coming to where you can see a couple different layers of paint coming through I find that very interesting and yet look at how crisp these stripes are and then this is the lower left hand corner I am getting a few cells and I thought about, it looks like the dark blue color I used is what's uh, making these, these cells. That was actually Artist Loft paint. So I'm going to keep an eye out for that the next time I use Artist Loft and the mix and see if I get cells again. Just bringing you up here, I just love how the colors are so crisp. Again, a little colony of cells here. There's some cells with the blue. Let me bring you down here. I really, really like the yellow here. So vibrant with the orange. And in here, one of my favorite spots of the painting. And I'll take you over to the lower right hand corner. Here's Here's the biggest colony of cells that we got right there. And this is a, one of my favorite spots too. I just love this blue and green in there. So pretty. This is just coming up the uh, right side now of the painting. More cells. And this is another one of my favorite spots. You can just see how See how the paint, you can see the different layers. Just beautiful in there. Love how that blue is coming out there. So let me know what you think of this video. Give me a thumbs up if you like it and share it. Make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. Subscribe if you haven't, that would be great. And try and increase your watch time if you do have time. That would really be great. So until next time, take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.